Hey everyone and welcome back to another Flow Ninja video. In this one, we're going to be going over on how you can embed raw HTML forms on Webflow from HubSpot. So let's jump straight into it. So basically, in the previous one, we were going ahead and showcasing how you can implement a kind of Zapier form uh, with HubSpot. So I'm going to HubSpot form with Zapier, I mean. Uh, and in this one, we're going to be going over probably one of my kind of most favorite options because it's going to give you all of the functionalities that HubSpot natively has as a form, kind of as a CRM itself, while still giving you the flexibility to go ahead and change out the designs and adjust that everything looks really nicely. The only disadvantage of this uh, use case is that you're going to need a professional plan in order to have raw HTML forms working as, as expected. So this is probably going to be the, the functionality you're going to be adding for some of your bigger clients. And that's who probably um, is going to even request something like this to be done on Webflow. As there's not many documentation, I wanted to go ahead and create a tutorial for this to go to explain kind of what's the process, how easy it is after you understand what was happening there to edit the form itself and how much flexibility you can have in the end. So uh, by going to the form itself, you can see that on the bottom, uh, we have our uh, kind of form from uh, HubSpot showing up. And then on top, we have kind of our uh, kind of set style form uh, set up here. Also, that's going to be setting up the R styles. So in the ideal world, kind of our form here is going to be uh, hidden. So hide. And then if I go ahead and publish. Okay, you know that Webflow sometimes can take a little bit of time to go ahead and make sure that that works as, as expected. Okay. And if I go ahead and reload the page, you can see that right now we're just going to have the house platform. And that's what you're probably going to be kind of ending up with. But for the sake of the video, we're going to be having two forms on the page because this one is probably going to disappear as we're not going to be paying 900 bucks per month to have the option working. But it's going to still kind of showcase you how the, kinda, the integration itself works and how, what you can do about it. So, uh, I mean, the first thing is just kind of going over the classes and everything on top. So you see that uh, HS input is an add added class and that's the class we're using in order to override how the design of the form looks like. So we can go ahead and kind of change this out to be white. We can change this out to be um, a different color like this, um, like something neutral. We can change the hover state to be neutral also and then to remove this to be something like this. We can have the focused state to be um, let's say for completely black and then placeholder text to be something like this and uh, kind of if we go ahead and publish these to product okay, here it is and we reload the page you can see that kind of we have something like that here and that also in this instance we have a white form on our side here which is probably going to be the best in this use case so it's the urosh uh whatever so everything is going to be working you can see that these error states are coming from hubspot whilst this is our Webflow form. So this is going to allow you to go ahead and change out the designs. Uh, when you have the phone, this is going to be changing the phone field. And this is going to be changing the input field, uh, et cetera, et cetera, on that front. So uh, the next thing you're going to be uh, going to be needing to do so is like you're going to have this nice select styles here, just that the select fields that you have look pretty nice. So you don't have to worry about that one. Then uh, kind of you can see that HS input here. You don't have to worry about this. Um, this is just for the error states, so you don't have to worry about that one. Also, we've added here the code uh, to go ahead and uh, apply the kind of phone field to kind of to input and to dial code. So on, on this side, we're gonna be able to kind of add custom functionalities like um, like these pretty easily. But uh, I mean, kinda, this is something that you can or don't have to do. Kinda, it's not something that's going to make or break your website. You have here phone and then we just have a query selector to find what's the ID of our form in HubSpot to apply the form field here uh, and to pass it over like, like expected. So once you're setting, uh, once you basically go ahead and change out the designs for this, this is the button, change out the button design itself also. Uh, we can go ahead and just kind of see some additional classes like you have um, some form elements that are going to be appearing from time to time that we've added the, the error state, uh, we've added the form field state, the submitted message kind of and everything on that front how that's going to be looking like. 
you can dig into that a little bit more to go ahead and see how that's going to be changing. We have a form that's going to be working. Uh, so the thing you need to go ahead and do is change out the code here. So by going to your HubSpot, let me go back to all of our forms. Um, we are going to see that uh, we have uh, here a HubSpot free resource form on our side. If I go and click on it, I go ahead and edit the form. You can create a new form, uh, for example. We have the exact same fields again. We have first name, last name, email, and phone like we have on the, on the other side. We're going to go ahead and style and preview. And then this is the important part is where you want to set this as raw HTML form. And you're going to see that it's going to be looking really strange. I mean, when it comes out of uh, HubSpot. So it's going to be looking like this, but with the Webflow code and kind of make, use, uh, using Webflow as a no code tool to style the CSS and to apply the CSS where needed. We're going to be able to just go ahead here, uh, update, uh, publish, and then embedded code and copy the code from here. And then just change out. Okay, let me, that did not copy, copy the clipboard. So yeah, we can remove that, paste it in, and that's gonna be our form. So afterwards, uh, this part of the code. So probably you can go ahead and remove this, paste it on a different page, just never remove it completely. You can command X this and go to the style guide and go to paste it into the kickoff style guide. So it's global for all of your pages, but make sure that you don't remove it because if you remove it and clean up the classes, it's not going to look like, um, like you should. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. So you're going to gain all the benefits from embedding a HubSpot, HubSpot form directly with tracking and kind of UTM parameters and everything like that, that clients are asking uh, kind of from time to time to have in order to have their uh, HubSpot uh, kind of CRM work as expected while still having the possibility to edit the design of that HubSpot form uh, completely with no code and without any problems on that front. So if you have any questions on this front, feel free to ask us and we're going to be more than happy for you to share all the HubSpot forms you've edited using this way. So thanks so much and bye-bye.